Radiant team back. Hello there, VG ladies and gentlemen. Wait, turn huh? to ban. Oh, oh. Radiant team back. All right. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our Nanyang Championship Season Two playoff round. The match between Team Vichy Gaming versus Cedec Youth in Best of Three series single elimination. Guys, we will lose the series. Remaining. Say goodbye to this tournament and waiting VG for the next Gaming's season. This is the first game of the series, guys. You're hearing me like clubs as your caster. Man, there are so. Oh my Six. God, Vichy Gaming played with three stand VG in today, to pick. and Sila is back. Burning is out. You, okay, okay. Uh, wait. I gotta tell you guys that there are so many things going on in Team VC Gaming right now. After they they failed to qualify to TI. First, Ten seconds, Rod K retired. He said he said he's going to retire. Five and and then me. there's a rumor that Sila is going to go on holiday until Reserve the end time. until the end of TI, and then he will be back to the <laughs> team after. So yesterday they played in this Radiant tournament as well hit. with him and Burning and maybe um, CTY I think. Him and Burning with three stand-ins from uh, VC Gaming Potential which is DXM, uh, Nono and maybe the other guy, I'm not sure who. Uh, I can't remember. But now, you know, the ad, uh, I'm sorry, the odds about this this match is Cedric Youth is so far ahead. Like Cedric Youth got like seventy percent chance to win this game, while while Fishy Gaming, among you know in amidst of all the rumors, bad rumors, they only have thirty percent chance to win this game. But then suddenly, Ten seconds Tyler shows remaining. up, and he's here in the game. Five so it's gonna be a silent Tyler Blade for sure. Draft by him. Went for straight first pick. I really like the first Reserve two heroes time. of Team Bishi Gaming. Cedric Youth. Anyway, Cedric Youth. We can't underestimate because Cedric Youth has seen a very good performance today. Uh, they won the game during tiebreak. They won Team E Home. They won Team Tongfu. <sighs> and now this is their third game of the day in Nanyang. And they. You know, keep on the winning streak. Basis one of them Titan first two for Team Select Youth. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Thank you so much for turning in, uh, tuning in. Um, I don't think, you know, somebody in the chat saying that Burning is was kicked out. No, Burning didn't get kicked out. He he was like, I think he need to take a break. Um, from what I've seen yesterday. He he plays Teleblade too. Radiant team pick. Something you might say that he he really needs to take a long break. I mean he deserves that. He Lion. plays so many games in this season. And VG yeah, take a take a to pick. maybe like two or three weeks break. Free his mind and then come back to the team would be better for him and also the team. Lion pick. For well, see like youth it's pretty good because Lion Ten can kill Teleblade. Remaining. Illusions, just a hex in the five seconds remaining. Hex and a mana drain. Reserve time. Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Thank you so much for tuning in this one. 
Vichy Gaming, Gold Pick, Phoenix, and Vengeful Spirit. I kind of like the first two picks of Team Vichy Gaming draft by him. Vichy Gaming, Vengeful Spirit, and Tyler Blight. Bad Rider. So it's gonna be a bad rider off lane for sure. But it still need a mid lane invoke the bad. Might be a dragon dragon eye. I mean having Five a dragon eye as a mid remaining. laner is also not bad. He's quite tanky. I think it's gonna be a dragon eye. Oh EG. This is a reserve time, sorry, for Team Select Youth. They're gonna think about, but you know, I really like that Select Youth reply with the um. I mean, Select Youth first pick faces Void, and then DC Gaming then just uh, pick Slug. two heroes, eventually Spirit and Tyler Blade into a faces Void. This is DG quite Gaming risky decision for Team DC Gaming because the only heroes that Tyler Blade Lose his faces void. Faces void. Chronosphere. You know he he if he can kill the Teleblade in just one Chronosphere. Ten seconds remaining. Faces void. Chronosphere positioning remaining. is very important. It's not only you have to lock down Vengeful Spirits and Teleblade in the same Chronosphere, but you have to <sighs> to do the edge Chronosphere. That means you have to uh what's it called like make. Make sure the Talonblade is at the edge of the Chronosphere so that Slark can attack him with the melee attacks. And also, he needs to make sure that Vengeful Spirit is stuck inside the Chronosphere too. Radiant because if dead. not, then Vengeful Spirit is just gonna use easy swap that Talonblade out and then nothing happened. So this is going to be a very, very um, hard task for Faces Void to do so. He didn't even need to care about the other Ten heroes. He didn't even remain. need to care about Phoenix and Bad Rider. He need he just need to catch Vengeful Spirit and Teleblade in the same Chronosphere. This is very hard. And that's gonna be even harder. The fact Each that they they don't have any uh, range hard carry or the range hitter for Team Cedar Youth. That means if you wanna kill the Teleblade inside the Chronosphere, you have to do uh, an Edge Chronosphere. Make sure the Tyler Blade is at the edge of the crone, and then Ten you can attack him remaining. with Slark. This is, this is quite hard remaining. for Faces Roy. Last pick, Timbersaw, for Cedar Cube. Tide Hunter. Tide Hunter? So it's gonna be a bad right of mid. Interesting. Oh shoot, disconnected as usual. Bye bye boy. Alright guys, we are in the game already. Base of 3 boys, Vichy Gaming vs. C-Deck This is going to be a super tense match. 
Direct Youth with the lead of Sila and him. Uh, I'm sorry, VG Gaming with the lead of Sila and him. With three young players from their youth academy. VG Gaming potential with Direct Youth. A very good performer in China scene at the moment. And don't lag. I'm just gonna reconnect the game. All right, in man, the perfect world server is always like lucky when when it comes to prime time. Maybe this is actually the the time that Chinese people Tiny love to please. play Dora two. So there's nothing much I can do about this anymore. Uh, this is not about my internet. It's about the server. I try to reconnect, but I think the lag will gone soon. I hope. So in the middle lane it's gonna be in flame. I'm gonna do some quick control. Uh, middle lane in flame team assault with this DXM the bad rider. Hop solo lane demons. Uh, faces void with this tight lane from TVG gaming. Went full spirit. Um, him on Phoenix with Teleblade farming by no no. Then where is Sila? Sila playing off lane tight hunter. Ah, <sighs> perfect world. Perfect world, they say. Oh, this is this is just too much. Come on! Now it seems like Demon. Oh, wait. Demon? Is he gonna die? Yes, it's gonna be a first blood for Team VG Gaming! Alright, man. Oh, man, this is so hard to cast. Alright, alright. Sila. Okay, I'm so done. Just gonna let it disconnect, then I'll be back in again. Oh. Oh my god! Come on! Wait, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna try to reconnect once again. Hopes it's getting better. Hey. Jesus Christ. There's nothing I could do about this anymore. This, this is just too much. The only first blood in this game is that. Okay, seems good. Seems good. Come on, walking. Boys, keep walking. Don't stop. Now demon. Okay, the lag is gone finally. Okay, here we go. Echo storm demons almost one hit away. Wave of terror. I aiming for Nono, dropping quite low. There's one more bad. They got that Nono. Teleblade falls. One one. 
Did they use him? Oh, that hook <laughs> right him in flame. The race to the rune is gonna be a bad rider who to kill the rune right there, but almost steal the rune away from the bad rider shooting the sun ray and healing the bad rider at the same time. I activated his firefly in flame, walking back to the tree line. Much, much better than just now. Good job, good job, perfect. Well, come on, you can do it. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Now, meanwhile, oh, the, the lag is gone, guys. Guys, what I want you guys to do in the chat, I want you to compliment Perfect World. Say anything good about the server, and it will be better. Trust me, that's that not thing. Nothing gonna be better if you keep flaming the server. So you need to do the opposite thing. Come on, praise the Perfect World in the chat right now. See, nice, not lag anymore. Do it. Bottom lane seems like doing pretty okay for slack. Ah, mate. Kinda surprised when Sila playing Tide Hunter. He used to play the carry all along, but maybe because of the roll chain, Nono can only play hard carry. Demon dropping low, but Demon just jumps away. He gained his HP back. He could die. That face is actually quite aggressive. No sign of burning today. Demon. Oops, I'm sorry, I missed the kills over there. Bad Rider just dive in very deep for DXM. This is DXM is the mid player from the uh, VC Gaming Youth Academy from the potential team. Now it's time for him to shine. Mid lane playing against that in flame. Pretty good. That in flame is quite strong. Especially when he played Kindersoft. Sorry about missing the kill just now. It seems to be a um, typical die by the bad rider. Now here at the top lane, let's take a look at this one. See the Q, Demon. Oh, team are changing for in flame. Two charges are sticking up on two team with the sun ray, but he's still gonna chain away. Are playing demons. You get nothing. De good job, guys. Keep compliment coming. I love compliment. In flame. Bottom lane, slack. Free farming slot, Ame already got his hand on Midas. That network is quite far away from the Teleblade. No, no farming is. He died one time to the solo faces boy, that's not good. Yeah, bottom lane. Told you, it worked. Perfect world, perfect server. Keep on coming. Now demons. Dyer's top tower is under attack. In the all wave of terror, XD died to the river. He started all with a hex on DXM. Bad rider. With a flaming lasso, need to be careful for XC. Blow him down with undraft back. Firefly the XC. Gonna go down for him break. This one hit died because of the fire. Here we go, coming in, the Demon, the first Chronos for in this game, an itch! Chronosphere, but it seems like DXM is gonna run away with a haste rune, very lucky DXM. I can say that DXM have very good start in this game, playing with confidence even though he from the OBC Gaming Youth Academy. He seems very composed, this one. Now, come on. Ooh, very nice, DXM. Now, I kinda worry about Nono. Um, he getting out farmed by army. Look at army. The network is pretty big difference. 
almost 1k network different from from Taylor Blade in the block. Demon, bring up a quilla. Who the B? Take a look at the graph a bit. See that youth is actually ahead in terms of golden experience. I think they will need some items on, on Hellblade. They, they they should group up at 20 minutes and start pushing power with, with Hellblade uh, on your inmate. Hellblade gonna go for the next item. Yasha. Yasha and then maybe BKB. What about Sila? Sila playing Tide Hunter, still level 5 though, compared to uh, Faceless Void already level 7. This is actually uh, the difference between between two teams. Sila needs to step up this game a bit. He needs to get level 6 for a proper initiation. Right, here we go, in. Equal diving in Babel Power. Almost hit. The XM already got his Blink Dagger pretty fast for the mid lane Bat Rider. A boot, a Blink Dagger, and a bottle. Shooting a Sun Ray trying to heal on the XM. Get rid by that Lion using his finger. Very nice gank this one for CDQ. Top lane, still farming for Tyler Blade. Radiance top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Oh, seems like him playing a little bit overconfident by him playing dive in quite deep. Trying to kill him, I think. And then the whole party. Appears by Team VT Gaming. Oh, he was on VT Gaming attack. that mid lane. Now maybe it's time to push mid a little bit. Maybe trying to deal some damage to the mid tier tower. Hellblade, no, no. Now he got enough gold for his Yasha. Fortified. Get a Yasha, get a BKB. And then maybe a Mental Style. Or, or even sending Yasha top also not bad. A Ravage by Sila. Oh man, an airball Ravage by Sila. He's trying to kill the Slark, but he was baited by Slark. Ahmed knows that he can provoke the Tide Hunter to use his Ravage. And Sila did the Ravage. Is he good for this position? I mean, he always plays in position 1. He never played an opener before. Now that is the first mistake, guys, of Sila in this game. Seems like Cedric Y is grouping up. They are up to something, I guess. So we're getting lag again. Guys, you know what to do. Now here we go. The whole team smoke are trying to find someone in a dire NC, Dyer's leading by NC. Nice dire do some scan. They saw them. Very nice scan by, by Team VG Gaming. They saw that Observer Wars, but they, they don't, you know, they don't dare to, to deny it. Because they know that C Deck Y is on a high ground. Dyer's middle tower is under Demons, attack. let's see how good his Chronosphere is. Like I mentioned during the draft that his Chronosphere need to lock two heroes inside. First, it's Ventral Spirit. Second, it's Teleblade. If you cannot lock Vengeful Spirit in Coronal Spear, it doesn't matter because Vengeful Spirit is just gonna keep using swap to 
to save his teammates anyway. Now the whole team doing some smoke, a counter smoke, trying to catch. Call a blight. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Blink in already for DXM, but cannot buy the slark. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. No, no. Yasha is 600 is gold in his attack. pocket for the teleplay. Oh, it's getting lag again. Guys, help! Top tower is under attack. Now to the top lane, DXM. We have Blink Dagger and a Heisu in his bottle. Face is Void farming not so far away, but he's with that Lion. Firefly already. Mid lane, they're gonna push. Radiance no, no, I'm gonna get an easy power. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Now Sila farming a big, big stack right here. You guys no, no, wanna take a share of it. Getting closer and closer to mechanism. Uh, mechanism for Sila. Army. Chow Blade already. Alright, 15 minutes. It seems to. We really, really love the farm, I'm, so I'm gonna show you guys some items update right here. Let's see what item they got. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Team VC Gaming is now trying to group up. They they just gonna use the advantage of having a teleblade to push the tower, which is a very good thing. Now, Ty Hunter is gonna use himself as a play. Can he release his grab? And that is very very important. Already popped the mechanism. He still keep his rabbit for Sila, he's not gonna a anyhow use it. Then we we'll get this tower very easy. Meanwhile, top lane seems like he is looking to trade the tower. Face as well is right here. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Gotta push more, Tie Hunter with a rabbit. No reason to turn back. Just gotta keep pushing. That is very good uh, strat Radiant's for Team Vichy Gaming. They're trying to force Zedek like, Yu to join the Radiant team fight. They know that they are stronger because they have two strong AoE spells, which is a Supernova and a Ravage. And also got a Bat Rider. I think uh, Vichy Gaming heroes much, much better in team fight. While that Timbersaw is not fat yet, he, he, he didn't even have his Bloodstone yet for the Timbersaw. Now let's take a look at his one. Zyla in very deep and here we go Supernova and Chronosphere comes out and Ravage at the same time with the Fear Ame dying the Chronosphere. Oh he's stuck there Kocha. That is the disaster Fear for Team CIQ but all of Team Vichy Gaming dropping so low. Can they get something out this Team 5 and see the dude after they lost the whole heroes and the lion? They lost 3 actually 4 maybe 5 though because Inflame still stuck in there running out of mana. Dropping low a Team wide for Vichy Gaming with triple kill but that no no. Devil is a liar! Oh my. And that is the first 10 kills for Team VG Gaming from 5 4 to 10 4. Holy moly. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. I, you know, I, I gotta confess, I actually don't know much what happened just now because of the Kale the server so I think it will be better soon 
not gonna lag forever from my experience. He still got thunder though, you need to kill him. Yep, killing spree broken by Sla. Very nice catch by Team C deck. Dude. Eye Hunter. He's gonna go for the next item, Blink Dagger, I think. Top lane tie, almost 2k go in his pocket. Ran into a Slark, Arne, saw him. He didn't even care about that tie, Hunter. Going for that uh, freeze. I've got to slow him down, shooting on a Sun Ray. Slow him as well. Seems like they're forcing demons to do some chronosphere. Dyer's middle tower. Tower about to drop. Lila is here to deny. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. Edward Titan is very popular in Chinese scene right now. He's, he's very good heroes. His ultimate is much much easier to use now. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Phoenix. Dyer's structures are fortified. That is a gold per minute charge, guys. Take a look at that in case you wonder who is the fastest farmer in this game. It's Nono with five hundred. 50 gold per minute. Now he got Dragon Land and Mentor Style. I think he still need a BKB. The fact that he the uh, VC Gaming doesn't have the support that can save him much. He might need a BKB to do some proper thunder, and he can be safe from that lion too. Now the whole team smoke once again. Very nice using mana drain to kill the illusions of um, Teleblade. Teleblade is there. It's like Lion saw him because they got up the wards on the middle lane. See? They really want to kill the Teleblade. Lion with a blink. Oh, let's take a look at some fight going on right here first. The Chrono Sphere catch that. So very nice swap away to the Supernova. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, if you want to use the Chrono Sphere, you need to lock that Mental Spirit inside the Chrono Sphere. If not, things like this going to happen. In flame dropping low. Him to finish his Super. Okay. My goodness. The server kicked me out of the game. Good job. Just gonna go back in. Maybe need one more minute. I don't know who's gonna win that team fight. What do you think? It seems to be a good team fight for Team VG Gaming, though. I mean, that faceless wall cannot lock Mental Spirits inside the Chronosphere. Uh, his target gets swapped out, uh, which is a Phoenix. And once he got swapped out, he used Supersonic, uh, Supernova right away. So, pretty much a one fight. What's going on? Okay, we are in guys. Let's take a look at the graph a bit. Oops! Seems like the Grav is bouncing back to Team Sidek That means Sidek uses won that team fight. 
How is that even possible? Almost BKB for Teleblade. Yep, that's a very good choice. You still need it because he, he can be killed by that lion anytime. He just blink in a hex earth spike, finish him with a finger. Didn't even have a chance to, to use his thunder and his HP is only 1.4k. Definitely need a big HP. Invisibility. Good item choice for VG Gaming. Team. Now in the middle lane, Demon. Chronosphere is ready. PC Gaming. They are up to something. Blinking and flaming last on who? It's gonna be Demon. No Chronosphere this time. But he jumped away. He gained some HP back. Where is the Ramage? The Supernova in the middle of Team Fighter. They got two kills for Team VG Gaming. But, and they still chase on. Pop the BKB as well. That is the first time BKB for Tell Blade. Now his charge is down to only 9 seconds. Now here we go. VG Gaming after they win the team fight, they need to get some objects to keep done. That is the power. Radiant Middle Tower has BKB. fallen. It was okay during the day, but you know, as you know, Dark it's Friday night. Yeah, it seems like the, the the guy, everyone in perfect world, really don't want to go out for party, so they're just gonna be home playing Dota and chill. Take a look at the top lane. Blinking, face a swipe, blinking, jump, a chrono fear, a catch the two hero. It's gonna be super. Um, no super, no what is time for him. But suddenly, a rabbit disappear, uh, appears from that sideline, trying to turn the gamers around. But I don't think so. From the BKB, sorry, the Teleblade, he's trying to chase, but nope, he's just gonna use that to TP away. Is he gonna get badge? The large two for Team VG Gaming. But someone still stuck here is gonna be Wind Full Spirit. Trying to do some swap, tie, tie every way to survive, but still died. A double kill for CDX U. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Well, I gotta apologize about this lag. I have tried every way. You know, um, I have checked my internet. It's very stable today. Uh, I think it's a server problem. I'm not trying to blame the per perfect world, but I really do check my internet, and it was great. Uh, by the way, during daytime, it's still okay. You know, in, in the afternoon, I have cast in this tournament since like 11 a.m. It's just getting worse. During this time, after after like 6 p.m., when everyone gets home, it's, it's just it's Friday night. What do you do on Friday night? Going out? Who goes out on Friday nights? Everyone playing games at home, bro. Double damage. He didn't even know what the clubs looks like. I think the first row time of the game will be very important for both teams. Timosaur with the Aether Lens <laughs> for a longer Timber Chain, I guess, or maybe longer Chakram. And that's the tower on top of Team VG Gaming. They're just gonna push more, like the draw. And Cdex plan to defend this one. Lock on the bottom lane because it's got a double damage rune. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Oh, a Radiant's lot of illusions of Pelloblade. Four illusions of Pelloblade. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Okay. 
I don't think it's fine to reconnect again will help. 310. 310 is not bad ping. It's just the spiky of the of the server. I may catch one guy went to his fist, falls down. The bad rider is on the TP down trying to get something out of this team fight, I guess. Hellerblade deep inside of the middle tier two towers. If he walk into the high ground, it will be very risky for Team VG Gaming. They are not in a good position to fight. Now, Ame know that VG Gaming only down to four heroes, so he dive in quite deep. He knows he can get away with each other dance. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower. Okay, it's gonna be slap power. Yeah, Titan. Eyes without a face unseen. Demon face this void. Demons got his blink dagger and a and a cross spear. It was all blade. Lock. Look at lock item. Pretty fat for army. Eye of Scotty, Silver Edge, and Echo Saber, but still, his net was still lower than that Teleblade. Look at Teleblade by Nono. Very fast farming Teleblade, 31 minutes in. Um, only 5 kills for Teleblade. He got Eye of Scotty, Mental Style, Dragon Lance, and Black Team Bar. Almost 6 slots at Teleblade. Now it's all about the team fight. Like I mentioned earlier, they need to catch the Teleblade and Ventral Spirit in the same Chronosphere. And they also, if they want to kill Teleblade in that Chronosphere, they need to do some Edge, uh, what's it called? Edge Chronosphere. So that Slark can attack Teleblade during he's stuck in there without stucking in the Chronosphere too. Unstoppable already for Ame to get rid of that Phoenix. Now it's gonna be hard for VC Gaming to defend the mid here. Three tower right there. DXM gonna get caught for the next one. A bad rider fall shot. Double kills already for Arme. Wicked six. Next one gonna be that Sila. Chrono Fear comes out on Sila. Here we go. Oh, Sila, can he stand? Nope. Too much damage coming up from Team CDQ. Three down for Team VG Gaming suddenly. Going for more. No chronosphere, no problem. Fly is very, very fast. Bought back a little bit too late for the bad rider. He's supposed to bought back since he died if he wants to. Bad rider jumps in. Cannot catch anyone. Nope. They got a face this void. Now they push out trying to chase. I don't think they can. Okay. I'm going to reconnect the game. Oh, the lag is getting better, guys. Vichy gaming into the Rochan pit, trying to get the Rochan. Now, actually, very good luck for us. That we catch the big Rochan fight right here. Egret dive in and dropping some supernova. That is the Sony supernova. Him. Now he's ran out of his skills. His teammate still stuck inside. Uh, now it's time for Team CDU to charge in. Here we go. Silent dropping low. Ravage come out. I'm not sure how many guys he hits. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that Armor is dropping solo right there. He's trying to get away with his civil agent. Shut it down as well. Uh, Sila almost get killed. Oh god. That Fingerino just killed that Scylla, pop the BKB for Nono. Going back to the Roshan pit against 
Mana Drain, Clark, Monster Kill, finally a Chronosphere come out. They're aiming for the Vengeful Spirit, first one to go down. A Spike hit two. Almost a team wipe. And that Elder Titan just punch. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is such a big, big team fight. Hellblade got away, he's the only guy who got away from that one. The rest of his teammate, you know, died. I'm gonna show you the graph. The graph is going high to Team CDX U side. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Inflame is here to take out the top tower. Slowly attacking. Clark. In a moon chart, very fat, fat clock. 1.3k go, look at him. 0 0.40 second per attack with clock. Sharp round. Dropping so low, but no problem so slow because he got an Aegis. See that you is just one step away to win the first game of the series. Clock got dragged inside to the bat cage, clock. He's gonna be fine, he's still got an ATS, but his teammate need to follow up from the BKB. Noro try to zone his teammates out. Clark jumps away real quick. He's still here. Actually, Slark got away, so he died already. Void. Let me ask the